Okay. <clears throat> it's time. Um, hello, everyone. Welcome to this new um, Edge functional group update. I'm Remy Coutable uh, from France. It's 5 p.m. And uh, we'll get started with uh, some achievements. Cool. So, um, in 10.3, we merged 45 uh, merge requests from the community. And in 10.4, we merged uh, 42. Um, as you can see, the, the number of uh, merged um, community comp contributions is, is declining. Uh, I'll get back to that in the concerns uh, later in this presentation. Let's focus on achievements for now. Um, then, uh, regarding the community contributions, uh, I, um, I highlighted a few ones here. Um, whoops, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we've, uh, we've had a great contribution uh, from Blackstone to uh, actually limit the, the labels uh, that are um, uh, displayed in the auto completion. Uh, when, when you have an issue or merge request that already has labels and you type uh, slash uh, a label, for example, uh, it will not propose you uh, the, the labels that are, uh, uh, I mean, it will only propose you the label that are uh, already set and, uh, and so on. So that's really a small thing, but really uh, great for user experience, actually. Uh, it was uh, uh, long awaited. Thanks, Blackstone. Um, another one from Blackstone. Um, he, he submitted a merge request to uh, improve the, the empty state uh, for merge request changes tab. Um, so instead of having a, a white uh, area, uh, we have we now have a, a nice uh, um, uh, image uh, that is uh, more engaging and engaging, sorry. Um, then we have a contribution from Marcus Kohler, uh, who is a regular contributor now um, to, uh, to be able to add a, a custom text uh, on the, the new project page. Uh, like if, if uh, in your company you have a, uh, specific rules um, for for projects, and you want to highlight them at project creation. That's that's a cool feature. Um, thanks, thanks, Marcus, for that. Um, then we have two um, API improvements uh, that adds basically that basically adds uh, ordering um, and sorting for for uh, project contributors and and tags API. Thanks, Jacopo, uh, Bessie, and uh, Asib. And um, we also have another one from Mario De La Osa, um, to be able to quickly pause or resume uh, project runners instead of uh, having to go in the edit page and uh, set the runner to active or inactive. Um, and then the last one is to expose uh, participants um, in issuables, uh, so merge requests or issues um, in the API. Um, so that's, that will be uh, really useful. So that was for the community contrib contributions. Um, still on the community side, we now have James Lopez from the team that is now a, a new merge request coach. So he will uh, help um, crushing the backlog of uh, uh, community contributions we have. Thanks, James, and welcome. And then on to performance improvements. Um, last time I uh, told you about um, a first uh, pass of improvement uh, from Genshin on the branches page. And uh, now I'm happy to report that uh, compared to 10.1, 10.3 uh, is uh, two times faster on this page. So from uh, 4.6 seconds uh, median to 2.3. As you can see, you can also check out the, the live graph. So thanks, Jensen, for that. And we'll continue uh, 
improving uh, the performance of GitLab um, for the upcoming uh, quarter. Uh, then regarding code quality, um, we extracted uh, the, our RubyCop configuration. So RubyCop is a static analysis tool to um, enforce uh, a consistent styling uh, in our code base. So um, instead of duplicating uh, all the rules per project and also enabling uh, different rules sometimes, um, we extracted uh, the GitLab CE configuration into a, a new gem, uh, GitLab styles, and we are now using this shared configuration in uh, GitLab CE, GitLab QA, and Gitali, um, with a few um, specificities for, for this project, of course, but uh, that's, that's great to, to share a common base for that. Um, Another big one from Blackstone, uh, again, is to um, replace the, the, um, a method to, to add a user with a role to a, to a team. Um, we deprecated the um, double uh, bracket uh, in favor of uh, add role and uh, add developer, add master, add guest, etc. Uh, methods in uh, in in uh, tests, so that was a big one and a longer weighted too. Um, that cleans up our, our code base a lot. Um, and the last one I uh, highlighted here is from TM Lee, and uh, he submitted a refactoring of of uh, some views uh, member views uh, by using presenters. So that's that's always great to have uh, contributors caring about uh, our code base quality. Uh, next up, uh, documentation. So we had uh, we had a new documentation from Jenshin, um, suggested by Robert, uh, uh, to document some utilities that we use uh, uh, in our code base. And uh, Gregor also submitted, um, contributed a, a doc uh, about end-to-end um, -end testing and GitLab, GitLab QA tests uh, in our uh, public documentation. And speaking of GitLab QA, um, we started implementing a, a, a scenario uh, to test uh, deploy keys. So the first iteration uh, was uh, to uh, register deploy key and then the next iteration will be to actually uh, generate a, a dynamic pair of, of key and um, actually use it in a CI job. Um, so to ensure that um, this, this full scenario uh, works as intended. Um, another achievement, uh, so last time I, I told you about the automatization of the CE to EE merge requests. Um, so uh, last uh, last weekend, uh, we've had uh, a few uh, uh, merge requests automatically created, and I was really happy because uh, uh, a lot of them uh, only had like uh, two conflicts, one or two conflicts, and there was even one on Sunday. But don't worry, it was automatized. No, no one worked for that. Uh, the one on Sunday was uh, had no conflict, as you can see. Uh, so it can happen sometime, and uh, that's that's the goal to have um, a fast um, uh, merge cycle from C to E, so that we have as less uh, conflicts as possible. And uh, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much the, the, the plan. Um, and uh, yeah, we also had uh, an improvement uh, submitted uh, by Jenshin uh, to. Uh, assigned uh, the automatically created merge request to the most mentioned uh, person. And then each person that, that, that have to resolve a conflict uh, should assign the next one in line. So that uh, the goal is that the, the CE2E merge request is, is never forgotten and, and moves uh, forward and can be merged uh, as fast as possible. Uh, and, and then, yeah, an, an improvement to come is, is just to uh, post a link to, to Slack to get attention, uh, always get attention on these uh, automatic merge requests. 
and uh, yeah that's that's almost ready um last achievement about testing uh it's uh it's actually um something that Tomas uh, did uh, basically he improved our runners uh, to basically like uh, 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 gave uh, gave them more uh, more uh, uh, CPU and, and memory and uh, that the end result is that uh, our uh, pipelines are even more uh, uh, faster as a result, as you can see. So there was some um, uh, discrepancies, as you can see, but it was uh, while uh, Tomash was fine tuning the settings. And now um, the whole uh, test uh, parallelized take, uh, as you can see, uh, in average, uh, less than 30 minutes. Um, that doesn't mean the pipelines take less than 30 minutes. I will come to that um, in the OKRs. Um, now some concerns about community. So last time I, I um, told you, and this time too, I told you that uh, the community contributions are uh, declining a bit. So I've created an issue and we started to, to, uh, to ask uh, why, why uh, is that? Um, so I've um, also extracted some data. Um, uh, and uh, so we have a backlog of around 190 merge requests from the community. Uh, that is uh, pretty stable over, over time. And we see that the, the number of community contributions that we merge uh, declines. Um, so that, that only means that we get less new community contributions, uh, basically. Uh, so Connor suggested to uh, actually send uh, a survey to our community to understand why um, why they contrib contribute less than before or why they they don't contribute um, as as much as we would like at least. So I think that's a great idea, and, and I will uh, follow up on that next time. Um, as you can see, I've also computed uh, the ratio between community merge requests and um, and uh, compared to the, the total of merge requests, yeah, I just refresh the page to see the, the graph better. Um, so as you can see that we were quite consistent at uh, maybe 18% uh, percent in average uh, from 8.12 uh, to 9.1 approximately. And then we had a drop in starting uh, at uh, 9.2. Uh, and now we are more around uh, between like 10 uh, and 15 percent of community uh, contributions merge per milestone. Um, so that uh, and and since it's it's now stable at this lower uh, ratio, it means that we actually also merge less merge requests. Uh, we in general. Um, so that's that's maybe another problem, but uh, I think that this uh, this data was interesting. Uh, and uh, yeah, so now onto the OKRs uh, for Q1. Uh, so we have uh, a few of them. Um, I will let you uh, take a look. Uh, what the OKRs that I'm the most excited about are the run to reduce the average CE pipeline duration to 30 minutes or less. Uh, right now, they, they are uh, more about uh, 40, 40 to 45 minutes in average. I'm gathering data on that too. Uh, so next time I will, I will have more data. Uh, and, and another one that, that I'm really excited is to have 90% uh, of the CE2E merges uh, with less than five conflicts. Uh, so uh, that means that the CE and EE code base will be um, well separated and developers um, take care of doing a good job at uh, um, avoiding conflicts also. And uh, yeah, so, and a few other uh, key results like about GitLab QA, of course, and uh, performance uh, improvements as always. 
And the last point uh, in today's presentation is about hiring. So BJ um, is, uh, is focused on, on hiring uh, these days. So we have two worlds open, automation engineer and test uh, automation uh, manager. So tell your friends, um, we already have uh, some, uh, some candidates in the, in the pipelines. Uh, and uh, yeah, we are, we are uh, building and making a, a, a strong uh, uh, process uh, currently. So we will start technical interviews um, next week, uh, actually this week even. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, tell, tell your friends, there's, uh, there's some uh, cool uh, position. And yeah, that's it uh, for today. I will open the chat. Um, lower test times. Yes, that's always better. Uh, do we have less issues accepting merge requests? Um, that's a good question, Bob. Uh, actually, I, I um, don't think so. Uh, last time I, I uh, checked uh you can check uh right now uh, i think we have a few hundred issues to work on uh, open for uh, community contributions so i think i i mean i we should ask the people uh if, if that's the the problem if they don't uh, find uh, uh issues to work on but i think we have plenty of uh issues open so i don't think that's the case but I don't know if we do a survey, we will uh, for sure have uh, more definitive answers. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't read Mark's uh, answer, but uh, yeah, we, uh, we try to open uh, more and more um, issues to, to uh, com community contributions. Did we measure the time it takes for us to accept a merge request? So that's interesting uh, question, Christian. Um, I, I try to, um, to, um, uh, extract data on how many, uh, user notes. So comments we have, uh, per, um, uh, merge requests. And my idea was to maybe find a, a correlation between, uh, when we merge many community contributions and and uh and if the in, if these contributions have less uh comments than uh, when we merge uh, less uh like meaning that uh, when we merge less it means that uh, the the merge requests were bigger and have uh, a more back and forth and and feedbacks from uh, reviewers and maintainers but i didn't find a, a good correlation um let me uh, let me give you the the link. Uh, I have the data somewhere. Um, I just uh, gathered them yesterday and today, uh, so you can look for yourself. I will give you all the link. Uh, this one. So you can look for yourself and uh, there's a few uh, data. Uh, what I wanted, what I really wanted to um, extract was um, extract the, the size, like the, yeah, the number of changes uh, on average per merge request. And that, because maybe that will give us uh, a better correlation between how many merge requests we merge and uh, the, 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 the size of the merge request. Uh, compared to the number of comments. Jeremy, is there is there a correlation between how fast we respond to the merge request? Like if we if I if I do a merge request to GitLab now, do I get mm -hmm. a response within a business day or something? Um, that's a super cool question. Um, uh, the thing is. Um, yeah, we could probably extract uh, the first reply to a merge request. So I think just to, to, to be more uh, concrete, yeah, I think we, we reply quite, quite uh, quickly to uh, uh, 
the new merge request. So I don't think that's that's the, the problem. Um, but okay. uh, what what yeah. what is um, I didn't see anything in the plans about moving all, all the EE code to the slash EE subdirectory. Is that something we're we're gonna do, or is it not a yeah? Is it is it not an equality team, or what, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, that's something we already started, and um, and that we will continue uh, doing. Actually, it's uh, uh, it's it's uh, related to the to um, having the CE to EE merges with less conflicts. Uh, it's uh, one one uh, one way we will uh, do that is to uh, better separate the two code base and uh, yeah we are doing this actively and uh, that's something that we that we are doing and that that uh, is uh, moving forward quite uh, quite good okay is that is that something that's going to be achieved in this quarter um yeah i think i think we are uh, not so far from from achieving it uh, right now i think we have we still have some uh, some javascript um, files to extract code base that that will probably be the the hardest one um, but uh, yeah i think that's that's possible to to do it uh, this quarter yeah cool and uh, you, sorry, you talked, maybe you said it, but the self-service metrics generator, I, I, I don't quite understand what that is. Yeah, so basically that, uh, that's something to be defined, but the goal is to, um, so yeah, I've linked the, the issue. There was another issue where there is more uh, comments. The idea is to get um, insights of uh, on, uh, on the, our projects, like as you can see, on it started uh, about the issues and merge request, like uh, as you asked, like uh, how how fast are we to reply to incoming merge requests? Uh, what is the burn rate of uh, closed issues versus uh, opened issues? Uh, and a bunch of other uh, metrics. So that's still something to be defined. Uh, the goal is actually to define that and to uh, start prototyping something. Um, I'm not sure if this, uh, may, I think that probably should be a, a, a GitLab uh, feature at some point, actually. Uh, so that's something we need uh, to, figure, to figure out, basically. Yeah, I agree. This this should be just be uh, features in GitLab. Yeah, I think so. Cool. cool. Okay. Uh, in there, so by the way, it took today someone who works on integrating Mercurial into GitLab. He wonder if we will accept his merge request. Uh, okay, uh, Christian, don't hesitate to give me the link uh, if you want. Cool. Uh, thanks everyone for the questions and attention. And um, I see you, I will see you in the team call. Bye bye.